Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I look super casual right now, but that's because I wanted to film a video and I just didn't really feel like changing, so forgive me, I'm just in a sweatshirt. But today I am doing an empties video and I have another one of these, I will link that down below. But basically I'm just going through products that I've used up, whether I like them, didn't like them, um, and if I would repurchase them. So I know it's probably going to take me years to get through everything, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Actually, the first thing is a candle. And I mean, I know this is a beauty channel, but like, just trying to live my life too, okay? So this is a Target candle. This is the their signature soy scented candles, and this is in Havana Oak. I don't know if they still have this scent or if it was a summery scent, but it just smells masculine. So if you like um, like bow ties and bourbon or mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works candles, you will like this. But I also just really like masculine candles. So yes, I use this up. I tried lighting it and it wouldn't catch fire. So I guess it's time to get rid of it. The next product, I think I have a lot of skincare in here actually, so because that's what I go through the fastest because that's what I'm using every day. So this is the Bosha Breakup, wait, Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil, and this I talked about in my um, skincare, I think it was, video, and this is literally just a cleansing oil. Um, yeah, I did like this, but I just don't see myself spending money on a cleansing oil because now I just use coconut oil so if you like the um, idea of a cleansing oil basically you just put this on rub it around before you cleanse your face and it's supposed to just take off all of your makeup and I really do like the concept but I just use coconut oil and I just like lather this on my face and then wash my face and it works just as well so I really can't justify paying this is probably $40 for that. This just stupid to me and look how small this bottle is. So if you are looking for um, a like cleansing oil, I would just use coconut oil. It's way cheaper. Um, but this was a really great product. I'm not going to say that it was awful. I just won't be purchasing it because I use something at home already. But I really do suggest using a... Um, cleansing oil or some kind of oil, especially on your eyes, to really break down your makeup without being too harsh on your eyes. So if you have trouble taking off your makeup, try using that. And along that category, I have some makeup wipes. So these are the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts uh, Cleansing Facial Wipes. Um, yeah, I like these. I remember use. I used to use them and I feel like I liked them more when I used to even though it says it's improved on here. I don't know. I just think sometimes um, it's hard for me to find super good, really wet um, makeup wipes. I usually just buy whatever is the cheapest honestly because it's I'm not relying on that to like cleanse my skin, just take off my makeup and if I'm in a pinch they're just nice. Um, so I like to buy mine from Walmart. These I think I bought from Target maybe. I do like these but I just remember them being more wet when I've used them in the past so I don't know. It also helps if you flip them upside down that way all of the liquid kind of seeps to the bottom um, so then when you're using them like the top makeup wipe is a little bit more coated and the makeup remover but yeah I don't know. I think the only ones that I know I don't like are the grapefruit ones because they burn the crap out of my eyes and they smell like a sweaty armpit. So that's why I don't like those. But I do like the simple makeup wipes. I think they have a couple of different varieties, if I'm correct. Um, but yeah, I just like simple, the simple brand skincare in general. I'm gonna like set this on the lap. Okay, we'll just get all the skincare stuff out of the way. Because we'll just get everything out of my makeshift garbage can. Okay, so the next thing I have is the Clinique Foaming Sonic Facial Soap. And this came with my little Clinique 
cleansing brush and I really did like this up. It was very gentle on your skin. Um, it didn't leave your skin super dry after you would use it. You know how like the purity, um, the philosophy purity cleanser always left my skin feeling so dry. Like it felt very clean, but I felt like my skin was like, like really needed some moisturization. So this did not leave my skin feeling like that at all. And it was just super gentle. And I believe the full size is like pretty big and you get a lot in there. Um, and Clinique, I like their products a lot. So I think I actually might, no, I just bought a face wash. So maybe in the future, but I did just purchase one. Um, but it's just a little one. It's just like a sample try on kind of thing. So I don't know. I would definitely purchase this. I don't know if I am for sure going to, but I would definitely recommend it as well. Especially if you have sensitive skin, I think this would be great for you. And then I have my Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. I was obsessed with this stuff. Like I would put it on, there's dust everywhere. Be like, oh my God. And then put my foundation on and it, I just felt like it made my foundation go on really well and just look really nice on my skin. But then I kind of started using other ones and I was like, okay, you all kind of do the same thing. So I have other facial sprays that I've been using. I might come back to this. I won't say that I won't repurchase it, but I'm not running to Ultra right now to repurchase it. But I really do like this. Um, so if you've been wanting to try it, definitely give it a go. I just have some others that I already have right now that I need to use up, so that's why. But I definitely would repurchase this in the future. The futura. And then, sorry if I'm going fast, I just don't want this video to be super freaking long. So I know I had this in my last video, but this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream in the shade medium. I always like to have this in my makeup collection. It's just great when you don't really want to think about doing your makeup or, you know, maybe you are just running errands around town and you want to look put that word just like really wouldn't have and you want to look put together but don't feel like doing full face makeup. This is great. It's super high coverage, but it also has skin benefits. It has SPF. So this is just a really good product, especially for the summer or if you live in a warmer climate where you do like to wear SPF on your face, definitely check this out. Um, it's super great and it makes me look pretty flawless, I think. I just apply it with my makeup sponge and it's super quick and easy and it smells good. It smells like um, citrusy. So yeah, a lot of people love this product, so if you are looking for a lightweight foundation-y type of product or just a, um, like a BB cream, it's a CC cream, but like I don't really know the difference, um, definitely check this out. I know they have little ones at my Ulta that you can buy to check out and try out, so if you want to try that, check Ulta to see if you have the little ones or just buy the big one because it's totally freaking worth it if you ask me. Then I have my Batiste dry shampoo, the clean and light bear scent. I'm pretty sure this was in my last video as well. I just really like this scent. Um, I also really like this dry shampoo. I strayed away from it to try and find something a little more affordable. Not that this isn't, but I just saw something too. I was like, eh, why not try it? And it's the Dove one and I don't like it. So I'm definitely gonna go back to this. I just always like to have this in on my vanity, even um, for days where I just wash my hair, but I just want to give it some oomph and volume. I like to spray this in, and this scent is very light and bare. Clean and light, bare. I don't know. I like it, and they always have deals going on with Batiste, like buy one, get one. It's good. Everyone uses it. You probably should too. Okay, next. I feel like I'm on speed right now. This is the Rapid Lash Lash Serum. So I used this, I bought one from Ulta and then I bought this one off of Amazon. And I was like so excited to start using a lash serum because I was like, yeah, it's gonna get my lashes really nice and long. And the main reason I started using this was because 
I noticed that I feel like all my lashes are falling out. So that's the main reason I started using lash serum and I really did like it. I think it did make my eyelashes longer and um, definitely more voluminous. But I'm not going to be repurchasing this because I have been using something else on my lashes. I've been just using pure castor oil and it's way cheaper and I've noticed great results. I think my lashes are super long. I get asked if I'm wearing um, eyelash extensions and I'm not. So I don't know. I feel like that's a good sign. But yeah, I have just been using that and it's way more... Um, natural and just one ingredient so that's why I will not be repurchasing a lash serum but if you don't trust using that I don't know why I wouldn't but this was a good one um, you can get it off Amazon cheaper so I will link it down below for you if I can find it um, so yeah rapid lash it's one of the more affordable ones I think I know that there's some that are like $200 that one was like 49 I think which isn't too bad but, like I said, the castor oil is way cheaper, so I'm going that route. Nextly, oh, I guess I don't have that much more. Okay. So, next I have a mascara. This is the Juice Beauty mascara. It literally doesn't have, like what the mascara is called. It literally just says Juice Beauty on it. I got this in maybe my Ipsy and I just, I don't like it. I didn't finish it, but it was, it's like full. It was way too wet of a formula to where I just felt like it was weighing down my lashes and I just kind of looked like a wet little puppy dog. So I will not be purchasing this. Don't recommend it. Um, first of all, I don't know how much this was, but probably it's not an affordable, like it's not a drugstore brand, so I'm assuming it was kind of pricey, so I wouldn't recommend this. There's plenty of drugstore mascaras that are better, so no. Sorry, Juice Beauty, I just wasn't feeling that. And then, so I have some eyelashes that's like, I have these boxes. And I'm getting rid of them because, so, three of them are House of Lashes. I have Obador, an Iconic Mini, and I think Obador Mini. I don't know, but I don't like them. The band was way too thick. I thought at first, in the video I talked about, I was like, I think they're so much easier to apply with the thick band, I don't know, but now I hate them. And I just, I won't say hate, okay, I shouldn't say that. But I just feel like I'm not good at putting on thick lashes. They just always are popping off on my eyes. And I think my natural eyelashes are fine. I don't feel the need to wear eyelashes all that often. And if I do, I will do um, a little bit of a lighter pair, but these are just way too heavy for me, especially that I have deep set small eyes it just does not work for me whatsoever um, it makes my eyes look I just I do not look good and I try and put them on I'm like oh I'm gonna feel so glam and then I put them on and I'm like mm -mm. it just doesn't look good so I'm just I'm throwing them away because I have used them or I would give them to a friend but like they've been on my eyes and you should not share eye makeup so um yeah I don't know I'm not trying to bash the company but these were like super bumpy and the band like wasn't very even they were super thick I just wasn't a huge fan and even the mini ones I, I was like okay those should be like perfect for my eyes and they still just did not work um I just I have some I like like the Demi Wispies from Ardell. They're much more subtle and just add a little bit of flair. Otherwise, I just can't do it. And I liked these. The only reason I'm throwing these away are, are because is because I freaking lost the other one. So I have one in here and the other one is nowhere to be found. I actually lost it in a video. I got these in my box. And I was putting them on and I had the one on and then I went to put the other one on and 
I don't know, it ran away or something, but I don't have it, so that's why I'm throwing these away because I'm not wearing one on one eye, so you know, that's just not gonna work for me. I think that's everything. I feel like I thought I had more, but I guess that's all the products that I've used up over the past couple months. Um, usually these videos, I'd say, do have more skincare and body care kind of items rather than makeup just because I don't go through makeup so super often because I like to switch up what I'm using every day. But I will still continue to do these because I think it's just fun like mini reviews on products that I've been liking or not liking and what and whether I would repurchase them. Um, so yeah, I think it's just also different from like when I'm filming my videos and using products. But like here I can give you just a straight review on them. So yeah, um, I feel like I guess that's all I have to say. But as always, if you are not subscribed and you would like to see more videos from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. You can't miss it, it's just the little red button right under my name. And if you did enjoy these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up so that I know that you liked Empty's videos and I can continue to do them. Um, and thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Wait, that didn't sound right. I thought I was going to say something else and then I just said that instead. I'm not sure. But I guess I will. I will just see you guys in my next video.